हेलो एवरीवन टुडे आई विल बी टीचिंग यू हिस्टरी ऑफ टेलीफोन लोनम की तरह ब्रडाइजेशन दिस ईवीएस सब्जेक्ट हिस्ट्री ऑफ टेलीफोन लेट्स लर्न अलेक्जेंडर ग्राम बेल अलेक्जेंडर ग्राम बेल इज क्रेडिटेड टू हैव मेड द फर्स्ट टेलीफोन एवर Born three March, three March, eighteen forty-seven, Edinburgh, United Kingdom. Died two August, nineteen twenty-two, Benin, Britain. Spouse Mabel Gardner Hubbard. Bracket M dot eighteen seventy-seven, nineteen twenty-two. Bracket close. Invention telephone, comma photophone, comma hydrofoil, comma audiometer. comma hd4 comma metal detector comma tetrahedral tetrahedral kite nationality american scottish british canadian this is a photo of him first telephone this is a photo of the first telephone The first telephone was very costly and was very big. It was made in the year eighteen seventy-five by Alexander Graham Bell. This is a photo of it, as I said. Payphone. In eighteen eighty-nine, the coin-operated telephone was. Patented by William Gray Hartford, Connecticut. Gray's phone, payphone was installed and used for using used in Hartford Bank. Unlike payphones today, users of Gray's phone paid after finish the call. This is a photo of the payphone. Telephone. This is an image of the second telephone. This was a smaller version of the telephone. This was used in industries. This phone was used in industries, like the first, uh, like the first photo I told of Alexander Graham Bell. The this phone was th that one used by Alexander only. Rotary phone. This telephone was used in homes. This was comparatively cheaper and smaller than earlier models. This phone somebody and someone, so uh, people use these um so, uh, sometimes today. Touch tone phones. Research at Western Electric, AT and T's manufacturing subsidiary, has experimented with tones rather than pulses to get telephone connections since the early 1940s. But it wasn't until 1963 that dual tone multi-frequency signaling, which uses the same frequency as speech, was com commercially viable. These phones are still found in homes. I have this phone. Cordless phone. In 1970s, the very first cordless phones were introduced. In 1986, the Federal Communications Commission granted the frequency range at 47 to 49 MHz for cordless phones, granting a greater frequency range, allowing cordless phones. to have a less interference and need less power to run in 1990 the fcc granted the frequency range of 900 mhz for cordless phones this is a photo of the cordless phone cell phones the earliest mobile phones were radio controlled units designed for vehicles they were expensive and cumbersome and had extremely limited range first launched at 
AT&T in 1946 the network would slowly expand and become more sophisticated but it, it was never widely adopted by 1980s it has been replaced by the first cellular networks research on what would become the cellular phone network used today begin in 1947 at bell's labs the research of wing at at&t although the radio frequencies needed were not yet commercially available the concept of connected phones were wirelessly to a network of cell transmitter was viable when motorola introduced the first handheld cellular phone in 1973 telephone book the first telephone book was published by New Haven, Connecticut, by the New Haven District Telephone Company in February 1876. It was one page long and held 50 names. No numbers were listed as an operator would connect to you. The page was divided in four sections, residential, professional, essential services, and miscellaneous. Nine one one. Prior to nineteen sixty eight, there was no dedicated phone number for reach, uh, reaching first responses in the event of an emergency. That changed after Congressional investigations led to calls for the establishment of such civil nation by the Federal Communications Commission at AT and T soon announced they would launch their emergency network in Indiana. Using their digits 911 chosen for its simplicity and simplicity and for being easy to remember. Caller ID Several researchers created devices for in identifying the number of incoming calls, including scientists in Brazil, Japan, and Greece. Starting in late 1960s, in the US, AT&T ma first made its trademark touchstar caller ID service uh, available in Orlando, Florida. In 1984, over the next several years, the regional bell systems would introduce the caller ID services in Northeast and Southeast. Although the service was initially sold as a pricey added service, caller ID today is standard function found on every cell phone and uh, available on uh, almost uh, any landline. More phones. This is an image of a normal mobile phone. This my grandfather has. These were, these used to be very popular even after 1922 when the first smartphone was made. My grandfather used to use it. Now this phone right over here, right here very here me and my brother have it a motorola version of that phone phones today this is the motorola this is a motorola phone also and an apple iphone Let's aim for 10 likes and 30 views for this video. Bye.